G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome to Dying Light 2, one of, if not probably the, most anticipated zombie games that I can think of. It's finally out, I finally have my hands on it, and I'm very excited about it, but not for a reason that you might expect. I need to confess right from the top that I never played the first Dying Light. It just never really crossed my radar. And then when I found out about Dying Light 2, I was so excited about that, I didn't want to go and burn myself out on the first one. So I thought I'd come in completely fresh sight unseen into Dying Light 2 and experience it all for the very first time. But I did go and watch the recap videos of the first one so I understand the backstory. So that's it. I'm completely fresh as a daisy coming in to experience the world. Let's go new game. Uh, let's just go normal difficulty and see how it goes. This is going to be slightly different to my normal content. It'll be longer form with less cuts and things like that because it's story heavy. So I don't want to uh, get rid of the important stuff. So this might be a very long video. I'm not sure. But for the most part, this is going to be about as true to the experience as I can make it. used to be more fun and you used to be younger and dumber what matters is you still just as fast because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim yeah i know i know get up here i want to show you something All right, well, first of all, can we point out that that's like a good 36 foot jump. Old mate just charged over and yeeted himself over a pit of death without nary a care in the world. I'm not sure what the tendons in your knees are made out of, but that's some pretty, uh, pretty impressive springage you got going on. Look at him. Look at him over there faffing all about. Right, so I'm going to go through the tutorial to learn how to play this game. I am playing with a keyboard and mouse, which is going to be a bit interesting but we'll see how we go my understanding of this so far is that like so there's a virus that turns people into zombies or like well they're rabid so like it's a, a kind of like a rabies virus it turns it super aggressive and mean and snacky really so that's what's going on there was a previous city that had it infected got wiped out and now it's infected the entire world uh, I'm not sure how like how this is gonna go on the YouTube platform given some of the more recent world events We're going through at the moment, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, let's get up these cliffs go and chat to old mate So far so good. It's like the Assassin's Creed of zombies. We're all fine. Look at that. Look at how far this guy can jump So I guess the tactic here for everything is just run and jump and smear your nose against the cliff face All right works for me. How Thanks. are you bud? Thanks for the help up. Good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long but don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. But you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. Seriously. So fucking awesome that he just saw me charge through a tunnel full of zombies. And the first thing he did was remind me how much I owe him. Ah, oh, there you go. It's gonna take a little while to get used to the parkour, but we'll manage. Eh, Baines, what a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. No way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here too. Wow, a real, like, genuine herbivore over here. So does honey have anti-infection properties like it does in Seven Days to Die, or... 
Nope, just gonna just gonna shove my hands right in the bee's nest. No worries. When a zombie's about having a nibble latch, I want a couple of bee stings to just plump you up a bit for him. So get that and some chamomile. I don't know what chamomile looks like. I'm hoping it'll make myself more obvious because I've got no idea. Oh, okay. I've <laughs> so this is just Assassin's Creed with zombies. I've got full ego vision. Ezio would be proud. Uh, there's the chamomile. I'll grab you. Some more daisies up there. Grab that one. Cheers, knackers. Yeah, this will do. The ominous screams in the distance is making me a little bit on edge. I'm not you a brave boy. I don't super like scary oh, games. Yeah, <laughs> and from uh, what I've seen, this game is going to be remember, terrifying. So, super glad I'm not going to be sleeping for the next week Combined because this game's going to give me nightmares. You, you Press I to go to the crafting menu. What have you got for me? You received your first blueprint. Blueprints are plans to allow you to create accessories, consumables, and weapon modifications using various craft parts scavenged during exploration. I know a lot of this was like learned in the first game, but as I said, I haven't played it. So, I'm learning it all now and getting to grips with whatever I have to do. So what do you want me to do? This is where you store your craft parts, you collect, read the craft part description to see how they're used and where you can find them. All right, fair enough then. No whackers knackers, I'll keep it in mind for next time. What do you want me to make though? What am I after? Just, just medicine? Just, just normal medicine? All right, fair enough. Craft you. Done and dusted. All right, easy as. I keep out of habit holding shift to think I have to sprint, but it seems like I just run at the same speed regardless if I'm holding shift or not. I look to take a lot to get used to. There is a lot of gurgling going on in Come the bushes on. over there. I feel like you should be slightly more worried by the imminent death watching us than you really are right now. Come on, squeeze, squeeze. There we go. I haven't had a Big Mac in a couple of years. I should be through there fine. This is nice though. Nice big walls. Let's just wow. live here. You and me, Spike. We can live so happily like together nice forever. Trip. Damn it. Locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. Well, if it's locked, why don't you just come with me? How about we stay as a team rather than you sit there and jiggle on the bloody door handles all day like you're jiggling Look, your own love handles? We're not getting in this way, so find us another entrance already. Why don't you come with me, you naggy bitch? Jesus Christ, nag, nag. Go to this for me, go to that for me. Go and face down the deadly zombies for me while I do nothing but peer through keyholes. Oh, I'm sure you got some experience doing that, but there's a time and place for it, bud. Crouch through under the door, into the garage, into the ominous darkness. And I'm immediately tense. Very tense. I'm going to stay crouching, actually. I feel like I'm going to be quieter if I do that. Is there some sort of bat or knobbly stick or something I can use to defend myself in here? Give me the sprocket off the bike. I don't care. You put me in a tense situation. I need something to clobber with. I like how old mate's outside still playing with the door handles when he could just come through the garage that's six feet away from him. Oh, it's so dark in here. Survivor sense. Right, keep forgetting I have SEO vision. There we go. Search you. What you got inside ya? A couple of durries gonna punch a couple of winnie blues. That'll keep your senses down. No first aid though. More eagle vision. I'm absolutely just gonna like co-opt all of the Assassin's Creed terms for this because that's what it is. <laughs> it's parkour and super secret survivor sense. Give me some hidden blades and be right at home. I'm gonna stand up and move a little bit better. It is the first house. I'll probably have some sort of like uh, introduction to zombies and things here. Five years later, who remembers Haran? Haran is the city in the first game that had the virus back then. Uh, I don't, I'm not gonna get into the story of the first game too much. A, because I don't know it that well. I know like the kind of overreaching arcs of it, but not much more than that. And B, I don't want to spoil it in case people want to go back and play it. The last spring party for 2023. <sighs> can you send this further into the future so my existential crisis can calm down a little bit? I'm already on edge from the zombies. I don't need to worry about the world ending as well. Oh God, it's a cutscene. No jump scares. I'm going to lean back in my chair so if there's a jump scare, I can be a bit further away from the nattering teeth. Just a couple of rats. Okay, that's fine. Well, it'd be better if you Just rats. Where were you three seconds ago, you pelican? I've been in here shitting myself for five minutes and you just stroll in like it's fucking nothing. Did you finally jimmy the fucking doors open or something? Oh, you bastard. You bloody bastard. 
You just set me up to fail. You knew I don't like jump scares, so you sent me into cop one. You prick. I feel considerably better now. I've got old mate watching over me, so that's all good. Got, oh, look at that lovely chesty lounge though. Ooh. You know what? I'd learn to play guitar if I got to hang out on a Chesterfield. I'd be all about it. Need one of those for my office. Investigate you. Got some wine as well. how the wine tasted back then. Don't mind. I mean, it's, it's uncorked. It's probably not great, but desperate times, desperate measures and all. Anything else? Anything else for me? Also, those of you who are pointing out that, like, I am a coward and I was leaning back because of a potential jump scam. Yes. That's why I don't like horror games. I cannot handle it. There's a hide area in a grand piano. I feel like that might cause a bit of a ruckus if you tried to climb in there and tickled all the strings. Like, I can play chopsticks like the best of them, but that may not be the best course of action when you're hiding from a hungry zombie. Mm, I don't like that he hasn't gone through this door, though, but we'll push on and see what else we can find. Oh, Any time it takes the, like, the camera control away from me, I'm certain bad things are about to happen to me. Like they've happened to all these Muppets in here, apparently. Oh, a long time ago. I'm not sure which one of you guys was the hungry one, but you've had a feast. That's heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. They died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky, too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the guard, okay? Okay. Not sure who Dave was. I'm sure we could probably find out. Can I grab that pencil out of um? I mean, what if I want to write in the guest book as well? Or is that not what that is? Oh, well, whatever. I'll push on and see what else I'm going to find from you. Um, it is all very solemn. I feel bad for making light of their demise, but... I mean, at the same time, kind of impressive they're all still here, though. This is like, yeah, you know, dinner party is still rocking. It's like Pirates of the Caribbean kind of stuff. I was curious how they all would have died and, like, just kind of sat up, propped up in their, uh, you know, relaxing positions. Like, these guys are having a cuddle. All uh, right, that, that, that touches my feelings a little bit. Let's move on from that one. But uh, it looks like they've all just taken a bunch of pills. All right, fair enough. And as old mate said, you know, we're now on their own terms. Kind of makes sense, though it is very morbid and very sad. This is getting too real. I want to get to the, you know, the bloodlust and the murder now so I can feel better about all of this. At least they had each other. Oh, don't, don't do that for me. I was having a trouble with the skeletons already. Don't give them faces. <sighs> well, now I'm sad. Now I'm really bloody sad. Oh, shit. Yeah, nah, Josh, it's fine. Come for the zombie murder and have a good time. A couple of laughs, a couple of jokes at the Muppets' expense. But no, now you've given them personalities and have fates. <sighs> I just... <laughs> I didn't come here for this. These are feelings I'm not equipped to handle. Dearest Mary... I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. I like how old mate's just been up there, just watching, just observing me having all this emotional trauma. Cheers, Spike. Couldn't have come down here and helped me pick through the bones of whatever party this used to be. Nah, just watch me cry, watch me sob, and explore all these people's personal lives. This guy's a dick. I hate this guy. All right, Spiky boy. Anything up here for me? Check your Ezio's. Nope, we're fine. What was so important that you had to leave me to trudge through bones while well, you're up here enjoying the view? A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. 
look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. Oh, I get to choose. What guy? Why didn't you say so earlier? Well, I feel like we need to have some sort of narration going on here. So what, what guy? What, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly, he knows something about Waltz. Villador. So I'm that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. <laughs> Maybe. Boom, something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected. And suddenly, they're knocking on our doors. All right, but you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe... well... A little hot-headed and she's always getting herself into trouble but if you could get a load of her <laughs> Whoa, all right still too early in the evening for that sort of talk eyes i was gonna say eyes beautiful steely huge never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes because you don't know shit about the world let alone women yeah, you're probably right i'm telling you I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that Waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that Waltz guy, or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz. At dawn, the guy's waiting for you. All right, so that was a lot. First of all, we have a baseball bat, a baseball bat, which is always a good sign. We're going to bonk some noggins. And we got a cheeky frothy, though by the sounds of it wasn't very frothy at all. So 140.2, got to have to remember that. If I have to key that in manually, I'm going to be in trouble because I have the memory like lettuce getting pushed through a sieve. Barely holds anything. And old mate's miso has gray eyes. That feels like, like that's teeing something up for later. Like that's going to be important down the road. Like I get attacked by a zombie in a cutscene and have like very obviously gray eyes. Like, oh my God, it's old mate's girlfriend. I'd be very sad about it. But that is a future us problem. So I guess I got to get that way before dawn. Cool. <laughs> I don't know much about the zombies in this game other than nighttime is a really bad time. So that doesn't instill me with a whole lot of confidence. 
We're gonna, I mean, why can't we just why can't we just shack up in here? This is a sweet mansion. Yes, I know there's a bunch of skeletons, not just in the closet, but out in the poolside as well. But they can be thrown off the cliff. It's fine. This place looks secure as shit. So I just wanted to check. Grubby bat, rare one-handed stick, 18 damage. All right, fair enough. It's got some durability. So, ooh. All right, that's a little ominous. It's got tips, it's got a shaft, and a charm as well. Got the whole, like, Prince Alfred going on. All right. Yep, that's nope, sick. Can I pull out my bat and play with the shaft and the tip, or... Gonna have to wait till I'm outside the compound. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on! Can't anyone open a door in this world? What's going on? I mean, aside from the moany, groany death that's about everywhere, this, um... It's been a beautiful world. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this house would have been worth a pretty penny back in the day, but not so much anymore. At least if it was, who am I going to pay for it anyway? Let's get out there. Let's get cracking. I need to at least find some zombies to get it out of the way. The fear of the unknown is always scarier than the fear of the known. So if I can find some zombies, kill them and know what I'm up against, that's going to make me feel a whole lot better. Oh, I see you, Jigglypuff. Over there making sand castles on the banks of the river. Sand castles in the sand was your emotional follow-up. That's fine. So, do I... Can I, like, stealth kill you? Can I get out... Can I, can I climb on the roof and use my hidden blades and take it out? Oh, that's some very goopy blood. And lots of... Oh, there's some honey, though. Oh, I should probably... Uh, biters. I love how zombie media insists on calling zombies different words. There's no, like, you can't just call them zombies. They're always calling something different. All right, well, fair enough then. So click to quick attack. No whackers. Can I, like, stealth kill you, though? Just, let me grab some glue real fast. Oh, wait, there was a pop-up there. F, take down. I gotcha. Okay. Do I have to, like, wait? Ow! Damn it. All right, I'm infected. I'm now a zombie. Sorry. Is that a second one? There is a second one. Okay, F to take down. I'll learn that for the next one around. Can I... Nope. All right, fine. If I can stun you and take you down, I'll kneecap you. That'll be so much better. No, don't pick up gubbins. Kill the Muppet. Search the bodies as well. He was empty. That's fine. What were you eating though? Ooh. <laughs> Just a couple of uh, couple of soggy snakes. Not, I'll just leave it at that, shall I? No, nope, can't take it down. So it must just be a stealth thing. Gotcha. I'll keep it in mind for the next time around. Ooh, got some flowers as well. <laughs> this is good. This is going fine. Did get tickled a bit, but we're doing okay. Just grab this honey before I forget. Super brave just shoving your hands in there and licking the honeycomb in front of all that colony of bees. I don't really want to go in here, but I, I guess I kind of have to. Got to explore. But at least now I have a bat. And I fought a couple of zombies. I feel better about it. Though fighting in a closed quarter situation, not my idea of a good time. Grab that. Search the rest. Grab that soon. Yeah, no, this is fine. This is good. What is this? Plumber's hammer. It's down 15? Or is it 15 so it's down from my bat, which has 18? That would kind of make sense. Can I have a little squizzature in here? There we go. So you've got less durability than my bat's. And you do less damage. Okay, that's fine. At least I have a backup, you know? When push comes to shove or zombie comes to nibble again. At least I have an option of recourse for it. Oh, grab the flowers as well. Always grab the flowers. Take everything you can with you. Oh, this dude's looking very smelly. Oh, got a bit of speed up there too. There's a very satisfying thwack when you dome them with your bats. There you go. Oh, cheeky bit of slow-mo as well. Got any friends? Look at all pretty vacant. That's fine. As vacant as your pockets were. Come on, someone have another baseball bat. If this one breaks, I'm gonna be sad. I guess it wants me to go up, <laughs> up a bus. Okay. Yep. This is entirely safe. I'm starting to think that the zombies aren't the biggest threat to me in this world. It's my own lack of decision making. How is this the best way up out of that ravine? Surely there was even just like a sheer vertical cliff somewhere. That would be better than this. Up, up, there we go. If this bus falls at the end of it, then I won't be surprised. This is sketch as shit. There we go. Look at that. Simple as. We're the best. Bud, I've got some bad news for you there, Chief. I don't think we're going to make it to your stop. I know you've been waiting a long time, but this may be the end of the line. 
I wouldn't bother touching off because, listen, if you put your card up to there, you're going to charge like $18,000. It's been a heckin' long ride for you. Just stay there. I'm sure it'll all turn out in the end. There's no pickups up here, though. I was hoping to get something out of the cars, but nothing so far. Ooh. Okay. Sneaky, sleepy boy. Get to the radio antenna. Yep, okay, that's fine. Can I creep on through the bushes? How do I... I'm... I've been... A couple of leaves have blocked my path. Can I bit my way through? I quite might be able to, but I don't think I want to. Huh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I get that might have been a pretty bad idea. Oh my god. Yep. I don't think beating on those sticks was a good idea at all. Uh, don't get too close to partners or they'll wake up. Also, probably to start playing the bongos at the entrance to their tunnel either. Also not a particularly fantastic idea. Hmm. Party wants to go down and fight him. Party wants to get down there and just smoosh some brains against the wall, but clearly not what I'm supposed to do. They're just having a nap though. It's like daycare, you know? It's zombie daycare. They're just down for a snack and nap time. I'm assuming this whole like tunnel area is like the floor is lava. You touch the floor and all the zombies wake up, so... Yeah. Oh, that was very loud. There's no way none of you Muppets woke up. Oh, God. Okay, yep. Apparently, my guy can still superhuman jump while being as quiet as a ninja. Not sure what superpowers or what elixir this dude drank, but whatever it was, it was a really good thing to have. Um, okay, which branches are solid and which ones can I walk through? Let's just go like, nah, like that. Straight out. Out of the tunnel. Home free. We are the kings of stealth. Oh, there's a gas can. To throw the gas can, X to ignite it, and then throw. It will make lots of the zombies mad at me. I can run. I can, I'm a superhuman. I can run away from a sea of zombies. How do I light you? Like that, and then like that. Close enough. Close enough. That did nothing. It did nothing but wake up the zombies. That was not a particularly fantastic idea, apparently. I was expecting better things. Nah. They're all just, they're all just shambling around. None of them even cared. Half of them missed their legs, but whatever. It's fine. They're just pissing they got woken up from their nap. Please do not disturb the local wildlife. Well, I already kind of failed that by yeeting a bomb into their midst, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm not I'm not one for, uh, you know, leaving things undisturbed, apparently. Just traipsing through, clobbering about like I'm bloody Bigfoots. Have a little squeeze up the ladder. No, we're fine. I do like these things, though. Just like an actual ladder built into the rock face. Super convenient. I'm really hoping I get to just explore this world at some point. It's given me... I, I know I've been talking about how, like, it's given me Assassin's Creed vibes. Like, Assassin's Creed 3 in particular, um, which... <laughs> Not a great Assassin's Creed game, but like as a world game, that game was amazing with so much to explore and do. So I'm hoping it will continue to follow that theme and give me all that exploration stuff as well. Man, now just talking about Assassin's Creed, I want to go back and play uh, Black Flag again. My favorite all-time Assassin's Creed game. That game is amazing. Grab some more. Oh, lots of hunting about. Okay, I'm fine. The more hunting I find, I can either sprinkle it on me toast or I can heal me wounds with it. It's a good thing to have in your pockets. Sticky though. I like how this uh, this radio tower just has this coolest high ropes course ever. This like sweet parkour jungle gym all the way up to it. No, like, you know, it could have just used that, like the, those ladder things, the bars built into the rock face. Just could have put that all the way up. But no, we have to make it fun. Can't just go a normal way. Got to go the roundabout way to enjoy the scenic route. Look at that though. That's that house over there. Still think that's the best place for a base ever. Got another cave and don't have any more gas barrels to throw in. And not that it did much anyway, but I will get the creep on. Go super sneaky stealthy boys and try and get through here unopposed. I'm tapping my Ezio button quite a lot to hopefully uh, get a sense of someone coming up before then nibble on the back of my neck. I mean, I'm kind of into it sometimes, but this isn't really the time or place for it. Huh? Over the sneaky mists. Oh. Okay, there's one there. I feel like it just got significantly darker than before. Press E to kick. All right. 
Can I kick you off the edge? I'd really like to and save my bat. Come on. There you go. There you go. Oh, that wasn't... <laughs> Wasn't quite as glamorous and this is Sparta as I was hoping it would be. Just kind of slipped off the edge like a soggy banana peel and didn't do much else to it. But yeah, it's definitely getting darker. That's what that cave was for, I suppose, just to progress time without it being too obvious. Is it this way? Yep, there we go. All right, the next pup I find... Oh, pretty sketchy. The next pup I find is getting Sparta kicked. Hopefully a bit more impressively... <laughs> the the last one. I didn't even get to do that one. Damn it. Someone spider kicking without me. Ooh, parkour level up. You to open skills. All right, I got you. Um, you've leached, uh, you've leveled up your parkour proficiency and earned your first parkour skill set. Can I point out that I'm already jumping over canyons and I'm not even leveled up at all? Again, how far can you jump? Do you get like bloody Robocop legs, go, go, gadget springs like a bloody Tigger in Winnie the Pooh jumping over giant trees? Because that's bloody ridiculous. Uh, you can now use to unlock your first parkour skill. No worries. No whack and flurries. High jump. Allows you to reach higher ledges uh, when you hold space while jumping. Okay. Easy as. Give me that one. Nice. So, I assume we're going to need that right now. That's nice and convenient. Huh. There. Didn't look any different. We got some distance. Nice. All right. Anyone else up here? I still want to kick someone. I've got an itch only a foot in someone's chest can scratch. Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. It won't get any better than this. Objective update. I've made it to the tower. There's a street light there that's telling me things. Search for a place to sleep. It is pretty dark now. I would say that this is already nighttime, but apparently not. Well, not according to the game. The zombies that are wait That's the wrong button. Zombies that are waiting for the nighttime. Don't think this is dark enough for them yet. I'm kicking flowers instead of grabbing them. Can I grab you? You were lit up a second ago. What? What do you give me? Are you important? Oh, okay. Am I? Can I slap? Slack rope walk? Nope. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, something I'm nervous again though, because now it's getting darker. I'm getting angstier. Oh god, I'm like Harry and Potter Puppet Pals. I'm gonna beat my head against the wall and just be scared for a bit. Open you. Oh god, please no. I hate it so Fuck! I hate it so much when it's Leave the door, dude! There's zombies coming! Leave it! You're fine! Oh my god! Priorities, dude! I hate it so much. What the hell is that? Uh-oh. When it takes the camera control off me. Get your bat. Get your bat and beat it to death. There's a great solution to all of your problems. Bat. Get bat. Get bat. Get your bat. Combat bases. Okay. I don't know why he's just standing there just like shaking his hands about. Pull out your stick and start beating shit to death. Speaking of beating shit to death, let's learn how to do that better. Some enemies can use power attacks to deal massive damage and can knock you down. Alright, fair enough. Then Lava Bitch has got that down. When an enemy is about to power attack his health bar, his or her, not all zombies are his, but you know, come on, get with the times, his health bar will start blinking red. Dodge to avoid being hit. To perform a dodge, press space bar while moving back or to the side. Okay, so... Assassin's Creed again, wait for the red flash, tap the button, move out of the way, and I'm hoping get like a um a counter a, a counter kill, yeah? Let's just get some space. There we go. Oh, alright. Yep, fair enough then. So why do you jump off your friend's heads? Oh, it was flashing red and I definitely moved in time, you lying sack of knobs. Easy, easy. So I should really focus on you. Dodge. Dodge better. Dodge. What the shit am I stuck on? Oh, building. All right, fair enough. Let's try this again. There you go. Dodge. Dodging isn't working so well. I'm not sure if I'm just like timing it badly or whatever. That's almost dead. Can you guys move, please? I need to take care of the lava girl first. That time didn't even glow red. You lied to me, Brian. Get over here. Oh, get your kneecaps back down so I can sever them just a little bit more brutally. Alright, so I think like back and left is a better dodge than just back. 
Come on. All right, there you are. Oh, that... Come on! If you're gonna tell me that's how the game works, then continue the work that way. Stop changing the rules! My new tactic is just to do what I said I was gonna do in the first place and just grab my bat and beat the whirly out of a bunch of clowns. Like that, take that, and take that too. There we go. Much better. Now, I'm free to deal with this knob shaming up here. Get down here. There. Did you, did you just die from the fall? I mean, I'm okay with it if you did, but I was expecting a bit more, you know, a bit more gusto when I finally got to kill you. A bit more showboating, like I'm the predator pulling out some poor sod spine. My bat's definitely nearly dead, though. I've been having a time out here. Are we done? That did, that did not go well. Can I heal? I probably should heal. I got messed up. She better have had something cool on her. Canned food. Ooh, infected trophy. All right, now we are the predator taking spine trophies hanging up on me wall back at the mansion over at the party house. Anything else around? No, you're all empty. So that was all because I thought I saw in there like a generator over in the corner over there. So now that I've <laughs> murdered a small horde, can I actually get in here and do something now? Was this important? I feel like I need a payoff for all the trials I went through. Oh, like a raggedy axe. A raggedy axe even. Gib. I mean, how much worse can it get, right? Turning on a generator can't go badly for me. Turn you on. Is that going to like light up? Oh, there we go. It's definitely night time now. I have some regrets. So I guess that was important because doing that... The broadcast station should be here somewhere. Change the time of day... There's a skull on the ground. Survivor sense. I keep forgetting about that. Can I close the doors behind me? Because I feel like I definitely... Shit, wrong button. I feel like I definitely should. It's not going to keep me safe, but it will give me a warning when someone finds me. I really want to turn off that stupid radio or whatever the hell is going on upstairs. Oh, God. Uh, do I want to look outside? I just, I feel like now, because it's night time, the world would have spawned a bunch of bad things for me. Open you. It's taking control off me again, which always makes me nervous. Okay, well, that's a pretty solid door. Can I close it again? Might be locking myself in with the zombies, but at least more can't find me. Is it this thing that's making the ruckus? Nope, I hit the speaker by accident, apparently. Anyone in here? Use your sneaky Ezio. Oh, God. All right, that makes me nervous. It's definitely this thing, though. Can you just shut up? I'm trying to think. Got another raggedy chopper as well. Does that mean I have a couple of those now? I've got you. Oh, you're a better one. Okay. So that, my, my Babel bat is still king, but you're the next one, then you... All right, that's fine. No, I've got 24 weapon slots. Apparently, I'm the freaking Doom Marine carrying around an arsenal in my back pockets. All right, fair whackers, knackers. Uh, I guess I'll just move on. The music has finally stopped, which I appreciate. Someone figured out how to turn it off. It wasn't me, though. You know what? Whoever it was, we can be friends. It's fine. I won't murder you. You won't murder me. And together, we can just sit in lovely it. silence. Okay. Let's give it a try. Ooh, purple lights. I thought when he said things have been moved, there was like a package that used to be here that's been nabbed away, but no, nah, it's the dresser. Ha, ah, is this home? Purple lights are safe homes? I mean, I'm a, it's a little bit magenta, but I'll overlook it. If I look away from the light itself, it's purple on the walls, and that's all that matters to me. Nice. Okay, purple light means safe. You've just unlocked the first safe zone, uh, increasing your network and respawn points. All safe zones are equipped with a UV light, which guarantees safety at night. Ah, oh, because the UV from the sun is why the zombies hate the daytime. UV light will burn zombies. Well, why aren't we walking around with, like, a battery on our backpacks with, like, spotlights that shine UV around? 
Who needs sticks and clubs when you can burn them with the power of the sun? That would be a way better idea. Additionally, each day zone offers a resting place where you can change day, night, phase. A and Aiden's stash. Where you can leave your excess items. Alright. Sick. All about it. This is it. Purple the is safety. Station. I mean, it's not quite purple, but for the means of what we got, I'll claim it. I'll stash my trophy in there. Counts as a resource, apparently. Some grog as well. Just like... All of it? Is there a quick stash button? Hang on. There's got to be like a quick stash button for this, right? No. Okay. I'll just do it manually then. This might take a little while. This might take a little... Oh, here we go. C Max. There we go. I gotcha. No, not your gloves, your mum. Stay... Stay on the menu I was just at. Got myself some soap as well. I'll chuck you in. I don't know if I'm supposed to be putting everything in here, but I just kind of am at the moment. Like, I chucked my durries in there as well, which are apparently is super valuable. The need for these are only increased with the stress of living in constant danger. I don't know. I feel like not being able to breathe might make it a little bit harder to live, but sure, whatever. But I've chucked them in there so I can trade them to a hapless soul a little bit later. Chuck you all in. All right, I'm now good to go. Got a spare weapon just in case. This is like a good idea to have. Nice. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. Ooh. Common machete called gangrene. Give me you. I mean, it's already mine, but okay, I'm all about it. What are you? More durries. All right, nice. Any important information here? We've got Sam, who's got fish and tools. Adam for meds and herbs. Alex for berries and honey. Uh, Lisa's brother's back. That's good. Keeping up with the times. It's also Betty's birthday. Happy birthday, Betty. Uh, okay, but it doesn't... What was it? Oh, shit. What was it? 140.2? I think it was. Um... Okay, well, first of all, can I move the thing back? I don't think I can from this side. It was also at dawn. But before it's important, yeah, I'll see roll. if I can figure out how to use this thing. Turn you on. Please don't make me do this manually. I think it was that one. 140.2. I'll tune you in. Uh, this is Aiden. Over. Anyone there looking for a pilgrim? Over. I love that microphone. I mean, yeah, it was at dawn that I was supposed to be uh, I here. I guess I have to wait until morning. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'll leave that right, set so that. I don't forget it. I will see what I'll the morning brings. The morning. I'm getting sleepy like there's mumps in the tunnel, though. Time for a nap. Ooh, lots of extra stuff. Oh, okay. I can go to the bookstore. Sam Supplies. Roger. Hopefully it got released. Ben's Farm. Lisa Herbs. Oh, Barry got kipped off. So Alan's now the one. All right, at least we're making notes, though. Oh, there's a map as well. All right, well, nothing for it. Let's have a kip. Wait till morning. Could have, like, you know, slid the dresser over to the door before you had a nap, but whatever floats your boat. Like to live life on the edge. Please don't jump scare wake with a zombie trying to, like, pull out my throat, though. No, nope, this is worse. Scary voices are worse. But, like, now... We need supplies. Everything's ready. It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Maybe they're all dead. <laughs> You're stupid. Let's go. Now. Be all right. Wait here. Nothing good will come of this. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Edie, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. I know. Do what I tell you.
Easy. See, sis? Even if they separate us, this is how we'll always find each other. Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. How'd you change your mind? Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait! I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Aiden. Oh boy! That was, uh... That, that was a lot! So now we know why we're looking for this Waltz dude, and we're looking for our sister, I guess. Fair enough then, well... I like how I went through all of that room or all downstairs to get up to the safe room. And then you get there and there's just a simple door. <laughs> you know, super secure one way. Basically open and gaping the other way. <sighs> Look at that though. All right, let's get cracking. Let's go talk to old Matty Potato, who's apparently got information about her sister. I'm coming for you, Mia. Don't you bloody worry about it. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to get into this place because there's a barbed wire up the top. It's a lovely view, but there's no fence on this side. Can I, like, do some sweet aeronautical maneuvers while I'm in the air? I kind of can. Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Huh? Nailed it. Nailed it. Who needs parkour when you can just ignore physics altogether? Oh, I'm going to climb this thing? So, so we've got some Far Cry going on in this as well. It's Far Cry Assassin's Creed. Not that either of those things are necessarily bad. How how it does up? I I want up. This may not be super clever. Is there a way I can like? Oh, I'm out of stamina. Don't don't up. Oh. Damn it. Up. Oh. Ow! <laughs> Me legs. Well, that was a terrible idea. I just wanted to know if there's a way I could actually get up there. 
Maybe that side is the right side to go on? Or was the changing angles that cooked me? So if I start on this side, maybe we'll be better off. Come on. Up you get. Up you get. You gotta want it. Gotta want it. Okay, no. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Get your breath back. There's gotta be a way though. Or is this like, maybe it's something for later in the game and I'm well too ahead of myself. I'm probably too far ahead of myself. Ow! God, everything hurts in this game. Cheeky zipline. It takes me basically exactly where I need to go. And having zip lines everywhere would be super fun. I'm all about it. Is this the... I thought I saw that objective marker like just there. Oh no, it's 200 meters away. I was going to say, having like the objective, the metro tunnel, like three feet outside my door, heckin' bloody convenient. Definitely getting a little bit distracted. I want to know what's going on inside this church. There's a sweet chandelier. Is there anything actually... Ooh, there's a tome. We've gone full Diablo spec. Paradise, book four. None of the doors open. I mean, I'm parkour king. Can I get up somewhere? What about like up here? Up to you. Up you get. There you go. One more. No, no, not quite. There's got to... Must be a way. I want to get upstairs. I want to know what's waiting for me up there. Oh, sorry. Lyle, let me just mount you for a second. If I was a game, I would make that chandelier important. So can I like get up? There you go. And climb like the facade here. Up a bit further. It's just the next level that I'm having trouble with. I don't really see anywhere that could be climbed other than that. Kind of weird that I couldn't do that one. What about like just next to it then? Up you get. Use your sweet high jump ability that we paid our point for. Oh, there's nothing here. Damn it. This might work. I'm straddling old mate's head. Up you get. Nope. Didn't work. Okay, that seems like it'd be a better option than the other ones though. What about this side then? Up you get. There you go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with gas. That way. Ah, get over there. Oh, a little swingy. That's fine. We're all good. No secrets. Nope. All right, that way then. Up you get. Yes. Who said I... Oh, there's nothing out here anyway. Who said I couldn't access cool areas? Turns out I definitely can. Even though it means basically nothing. I might, <laughs> I might die from my misadventure. Ah! Get out there. Get out there. Does this, does this count? Yes, this counts. Nice. I want to get up to the roof. Can I climb you? About like that way. There we go. On top of the dome. Look at lovely dovely. And then up that way. If there's not a secret up here, I'm doing all this for nothing, then I'm going to get a little bit upset. Ah, I'm leaving the mission area though. I'm sorry. Um, right. Okay. That, that doesn't bode well for me. God damn it, I came all this way for nothing. Yes, the view's good, but that's not what I was here for. Damn it, stop kicking me out of the game. I've got to find a way down this building that's not going to get me killed. Can I, like, grab onto stuff? Kind of. Drop. Ow, oh, too much drop. I was hoping just to shimmy your way down the wall. Right, okay, lesson learned. Don't have fun, don't explore places. You get nothing and all you do is break what's left of the shards of your ankles. Okay, so, sorry, I'll just go do the objective then if that's what you want from me. Land on um, amortizers to take less fall damage. If I had done that from the roof up there, would that have counted? I don't know. Either way, let's push on. Oh, I want to jump off here so bad. I want to jump off here so bad. I'll definitely die. I don't think it's where I'm supposed to be going. I'll stay. I'll, I've, I've, I told you, I've learned my lesson not to have fun and not go exploring. So I'll try and find some better ways to do things. Not that this is a brick here, I guess, as fuck. And there's nothing down there for me to land on either. Uh, right. Is there anything? Oh, can I open you? No. No, I can't. Okay, fair enough then. If I have to jump off the cliff into the water, I'd be very surprised. These little planks here going straight off the edge is all the hints I've got that I guess this is the way to go. So let's just nut up or shut up. Huh? Given I can never shut up, I may as well just nut up instead. Oh, there's no way that water was anything other than concrete from that high up. Oh, that would have hurt. And by hurt, I mean it would have shot all of my organs out of my nose. Sneaky bags. Could hold my... My, I was going to hold my breath for a long time. I thought I went up then for a second. Got some rizzy, got some rags. Make ourselves some duct tape. Some scraps as well. All right, time to get to the surface. Get to the surface. Take a big help of what's probably infected air. Ah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. 
So I guess I just like swim across the river then? It's, it's really hard to tell the difference between like underwater and where like the the top of the water is where you're gonna get some air again. Oh, oh, sorry. Apparently I'm not supposed to go that way. All right, I got smacked in the back of the hand with a ruler and said, nah, mate, go all the different routes. To that side, I guess, or do it was I just like, did I play it too smart and use the land to my advantage? Am I supposed to just swim across here in the middle of the lake? I don't know. That was weird. All right. Sorry for deviating just a little bit. Hello? It's a oh, God, dude. Right <laughs> Loud and clear. That means you must be close. Yeah, dude shouting from the banks. The so, you've almost reached the tunnels. There's an entrance. The only one the GRE oh. They sealed off the city. I'm coming from the other side. Hurry up. I'm so glad right. there's a thousand zombies here and Hurry. Aiden's just yelling. Top of his lungs. Oi! Oh, are you already somewhere? Don't worry, it's fine. There's nothing that's gonna eat me. This is all sweet. What an utter galah. So do these guys count as sleepers or are they just gonna wake up when I when they see me at all? I'm gonna try and creep on through because I feel like there's a lot of them. Not that I can see a whole lot in the shrubbery. There's no way this works. Right? Come on. I mean, I know you're zombies and stuff, but you still got eyes in your head. Oh, yep, okay, they saw me. They saw me. Let's get back down here. I'm gonna have to fight my way out just a little bit. Oh no, I stumped them by a foot drop. Alright, fair enough then. I might just have to kill these idiots. It's gonna take some doing, but I'm here for it. I got my trusty baseball bat, so... Oh wait, I can kick, can't I? Can I stomp? Nope, okay. Kicking does nothing even when you kick him in the chops. Might take a bit of doing to kill everyone out here, but I'll just kill a couple. It'll free up some extra space for me. <laughs> just like... <laughs> Put some effort into it. You're just like prodding him like you're asking him to wake up. Like when you go to your mate's place and you have a big night on the bevers and then you wake up in the morning before he does, so you just like prod him in the rooms with your big toe. That wasn't a kick. That was barely even a nudge. This looks like the way up. We'll climb on top of the van, get away from all the Zomberinis. Only murdered like four of them, which I think is actually a pretty pacifist effort by me. The bloodlust was churning, but I managed to leave some of them reasonably alive. There's some more around here. Um, like, I don't know. I could try and creep past them all, but I feel like, you know, cleansing the zombie from a, uh, the zombie, cleansing the world from a couple more zombies might be better off for everyone. Oh, you're looking real anxious about it. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to cruise on through. You guys do your thing. I'll do my thing. We'll meet on the other side and reconvene. There's a lot of gubs in these buses that I kind of want to go get. I'm like, I feel like I'm being encouraged to go stealthy, boys, but there's no real need. I'm just charging around. The zombies are mostly letting me do my own thing. How do I get into you? How, how does door? Is there an emergency release for the door or something? Can I beat my way through one of the windows? How do I get inside you? I want to get the gubbins, but I don't know how. There's no holes in the roof either. Can I stomp in the skylight? I don't know. Guess I'll just leave it behind then. <laughs> All right then. Oh, this may have been a bit more of a fight than I really should have got myself in. So I'm trapped against the cliff face over here. But that's okay. Babel that has me covered. It always does. Always like the slow-mo finishes. That's what I feel like was missing when I was fighting that, like, that lava girl before. That, like, low-in-the-dark bitch who was causing me grief. Didn't really feel like there was any satisfaction for murdering her in the end. So that's the way I gotta go. So jump to there, I suppose, then up and out. Like that. Is there anything over here for me? Use your Ezio. Ooh. Oh, just a way to hide. That's fine. Apparently I'm hiding in plain sight by charging about and killing all their friends. That looks super safe. I could just go like the normal way and walk on, you know, actual solid terrain. That's no fun. Get up there. Oh, oh, easy. Oh, it's like a seesaw. Can I find someone to play with? One of us take this end, I'll take the other end and we'll have a right old time. Though, just like always, I have no friends to play with. Shock horror. All right, fine. Guess I'll go in the dark, scary place and all by myself. Oh, I see. Got to go full Tarzan spec up here. Look for the yellow Hessian sheets. Jump on a swinging rope with space to grab it. Up, oh, fair enough. Up. Grab you and up. Perfect. 
Is there any Muppets in here who are sleeping that I don't want to wake up like the last one? Doesn't look like it looks reasonably quiet in here. Okay. Yeah, nah, easy. Yeah, nah, easy. Thank you very much. Why is this guy insisting on meeting in the darkest and the scariest place? If we know that the zombies don't like the sunlight, why are we going underground for sneaky deaky rendezvous? I feel like there's a million better options than this one. Do you want to die? You survived this long in the apocalypse and you want to die because you decided to have a sneaky chat under an awning? Go and meet in the blazing sun. Sun burns nothing compared to having your arm eaten off. Got another bloody door that's absolutely not going to cause all the zombies to know where I am. Come on. There you go. Put your back into it. Or use your legs. Uh, whichever one is appropriate for that situation. Clearly I'm not one who's well versed in the art of physical labor. Lots of dead bodies down here though, which means there's probably a very hungry Jeffrey. Uh, yep, just keep on tapping. Hopefully that will show me the zombie before it sees me. Like, give what's going on outside. Oh. Duh! Hey, is anybody there? Why would you say that? Why would you say that in a zombie apocalypse? If there is someone there, they're not gonna be like, hey, hey! Mate, how are you? Want a cheeky froth? Come and put your feet up and have a time. Slap on a sombrero and pop the lid on some fizzy stuff. No, they're going to come over and pop your lid and make you some fizzy stuff, you muppet. Oh my god, why does everyone do that? No, just don't do that, just wait and see. I'd love a glow stick or a flashlight or something because it's as dark as dicks down here and having these bright as shit lights in my eyes not making it easy to see what the hell is going on. Might have to try and boost the gamma a bit in post so you guys can see at the very least. Oh, cutscene. Why am I going to a cutscene in a puddle of people? I fucking hate cutscenes. Lay him back. Lay him back for jump scares. Oh, that's nice and quiet. King of stealth over here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's a problem. Don't think my bail that's going to save me from this idiot. Uh, I was going to say, is there a quick time event for me? My fingers are itchy. Oh, dude, you are one ugly motherfucker, but the power of purple compels you. Yeah, get shit on. Get shit on, dickbag. Can I point out again it was a really bad fucking idea to meet someone in the metro tunnel? Seriously, come on. How have you lived this long when your decision making is this bloody bad? Right. Wasn't eventful at all. Are you all right? Shake it off like Teen Swizzle. Baby. We're fine. A volatile. Lots of those fuckers in the sewers. You must get to the light quickly. Where's Mia? Uh, later. We have to move. <laughs> Resist it. It'll pass. <laughs> Just stay strong. Here you are. We've been looking for you. What about this one? Uh, he's dead to me. Didn't have it on him. Let's go! I don't have the key. I swear! <laughs> So did old mate just leave me for dead when the old like the other guys showed up? That's a little rude. T to activate your flashlight. So your flashlight. Sorry, throw it again. Slip. So what? Did that volatile? Call it volatile. I'm gonna call it a feral. Could use the seven day stuff. But that feral just like just just go now, nah, mate. Had some extra muppets to eat and was like, nah, it's fine. You know, don't want to fill up. Got to make sure I you know uh. Spread out my eating. He's got intermittent fasting going on for a zombie. Oh, look, a glow stick, though. That's what I needed before. All right. Well, let's go save the dick bag who left me for dead. The ungrateful bitch. Got some sneaky monkey bar things going on, apparently. Up. Oh, Use your momentum. Oh, it was a little bit, a little bit iffy, but we made it across. We're fine. Oh, the blue's coming back. The scary blue. Blue almost got me killed a second ago. Although, so did the informant. I like it was like, oh, there's lots of volatiles down in the sewers. 
Then don't meet people down there, you utter soggy sponge cake. What were you expecting? <sighs> no, it's a really bad idea to do this, so let's bloody do it. Idiot, you deserve to get eaten by whatever's eating you right now. Ooh, sneaky vent. Can I go through sneaky vents? I'm not, oh, it's very dark. I'm not sure I want to like, yeah, there we go. I'm not sure I want to go through the doors. They're people after all. So if I could sneak up on them, this sneakier John McClane, I can be the better. No, can't see anything out there. They're getting the boss apparently. Oh, you're going to get written up. HR's going to come down and give you a very stern talking to. There's the UV light and a couple of clowns. This dude must be the most flexible bastard going around. He can do full 360s in events. Do you have a spine or are you nothing but spine? Slippery snake up here making moves. I don't know what you're talking about. Let him go. You're gonna make us let him go, punk? I'd sure like to see you do that. Bring it! This maybe wasn't the smartest idea ever. Just jumping out of my secret hiding place in the vent to go toe to toe with a dude who could have anything. Sure. <laughs> Clearly decision making in this world, I fit in here. Decision making in this world is terrible right up my alley. Uh, per the perfect block, like the perfect lap in a GT40, but different. Press and hold right click to block an enemy's attacks. Press and hold, gotcha. Uh, the block at the very last moment to perform a perfect block, which staggers an enemy, making him vulnerable for a short window of time. All right, fair enough then. Let's do it, big rig. Let's get it going. Come on, have a swing. Oh, unlucky dick cheese. Scrape it off and put it in some dipping sauce. You bloody fromage knobhead. Get him. Look at him. Look at him. He's like cowering. He's like, no, please, no. Unlucky. Oh, there you go. Two out of three. One more. Gotcha. Oh, where's your mask, though? Like a James Bond villain. I'm ready to go. Come on, Blofeld. Let's dance. Got moves like Jagger. I've got moves like a baseball bat. I mean, you kind of have to, right? Oh, his friends are here. Do you want to watch? Look, I'll keep going. I'll keep going. You're more impressed by my club or his club. Either way, it's a real good time. Spiky Macy boy. It's just, it's just Assassin's Creed 2 all over again. Wait for the attack and then clobber. This is easy. This is fine. I mean, yes, I'm getting fucked up a little bit, but that's only because I'm a cocky piece of shit. Combat level up. Oh, I, oh, I have to do that first. Okay, fair enough then. Uh, now it's time to unlock a combat skill. What are you going to give me? <gasps> Sparta kick? Vault kick. Oh, wow. That guy copped both feet in the throat and swallowed them both. Vault kick lets perform a kick while vaulting over an obstacle or a staggered enemy. Hover over the skill. Okay, fair enough. Run towards a second enemy and press space bar to perform a vault kick. Pr uh, press left click during the vaults to vault kick a nearby enemy. All right, fair enough then. I'm glad you taught me that after I had the opportunity to use it, but I'll see if I get that chance later on. Quickly search the maps for anything fun. I mean, can I take their weapons? I feel like weapons are valuable, especially that big like morning star mace thing that was going on. All right, Knackers, how you doing? How's the ribs? No time. So, seen some better days? Who was uh, that? All right, we're gonna just There's kill no on some mood lighting, turn in off the lights, pocket. and just sit in the nice purple glow of the underground. What is this? A GRE access key. The peacekeepers, they found it. We cannot lose it. You were gonna tell me what happened to my sister. Where's me? You will go to Fish Eye. There. Ask for a girl named the one. Give that to her. With it and her help, you'll learn. You will learn everything. Understand? Protect it. If Waltz gets his hands on it, the whole city, everyone will die. Waltz? Is Waltz here? He is. 
They're coming. You hear that? Renegades. Run. We'll go together. Take this. Right, let's go. Fuck. Oh. There's a couple. I mean, you're welcome to murder this dude. He lied about my sister just to get me here to run an errand for him. I'm asking about Mia and almost like take my little like hilty key thing and go run some drop off quest for me. Do I look like a courier? Where's Mia? That's all I want to know. All right, so parkour combat. Use vault to increase my ability in combat. Uh, stagger enemy. Okay, we got that. Plus we got the vault kick. This is a foundation of parkour combat. It's like breakdance fighting, but the files aren't in the computer. Later, you'll learn more about the skills. Okay, that's fine. All right. I'll murder. I'm happy to murder. Can I, do I have my machete out? Oh, I should have done the vault kick. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Attack me again. Do it. Do it. Hit me. There we go. Up. And then, oh, it's a bit jaggery. There we go. Ah, oh, worked a treat. Oh I, can, oh, I can do it again. So I can stagger them with a vault kick, which means I can vault kick into the next one. Like this. Like that. No, nope, missed it. Wasn't quite perfect. Hang on, try again. Try again. I wasn't ready. Go. Perfect. Up. You. So then you're staggered. So up. Into that one. And then up again. Into that one. Almost. Almost. Right of the stamina, I think. That's okay. I can do this all day. This is good. For once in my life, I have adequate stamina to take on three at once. Block you. Up we go. And into your face. Can I finish you off? Yes, I can. All right. So it's really only me and you left. And I've got no more of your friends to use as a cannon. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Get shit on, buddy boy. Is there more? Oh, there's lots more. All right, well, it's gonna take a little while. Can I use my shetty instead? Where's my cool, my cool shetty that I got given? 13, 17, 13, 18. So you're still the best one. Modify? I got no mods. Can I repair you though? I need to repair my shaft. There's a little crooked. So if I just do this all day, lock up and then kick in the face. Do I save my, um? Do I save my, my stamina on my bat? Because if I can, that would be wonderful. Up we go. It's like we're playing like aggressive leapfrog at this point. Ow! I wasn't watching. Sorry. All we're doing is hopping over old man's shoulders and jumping on the next dudes. Just because it's bloody fun. <laughs> Which I'm fine with. It's a whole new way to fight. It's the best thing ever. Up, up, kill. So good. I don't want to run. I want to loot all their bodies. Do I have to run? Escape with contact. Oh, okay. Hang on. Hang on a second. I know time is probably of the essence, but there's always time for loot. The loot fiend inside me. Oh, I kicked that dude's face off. I mean, if you're going to be squishing it open for it, I mean, it'd be rude not to, right? There we go. Take all of that. Listen, some habits die hard, and some habits you just lean right into. All right, come on, dick nuts. We could just climb in that vent right there. I doubt Let's they'd find us if we just shut up, but all right. Come on. Here, We're good. Do you have my key? <gasps> it's Walt. We have to run. But I'm looking for him. You we idiot. He'll kill you if he finds you. Well, well, you know, I'm not sure if you saw my supreme circus skills before, like I'm bloody Ty Lee. I'm going to learn some chi blocking moves because I'm just yeeting myself over everyone's face and clobbering into someone else's. You first. Ah, see, I knew I was a genius. Into the vents. Is he going to die behind me? Yeah, I thought so. What are you doing? That's fine. He betrayed me. You remember? Bye. What? Let me out. Fish eye. The one. No. Tell me where Mia is. I'm in a position of power. I'll do the thing if you tell where Mia is. If someone's gonna watch you die, I'm not gonna feel bad about it. Let him go. you betray me this key is not yours you can't where is it in here this is the end. i 
I'm sorry. <sighs> Getting misty? Not really. You're only dying. Before zero hour, my grandfather raised horses. Beautiful rare breeds. I love them dearly. One day, his most beloved horse fell off the slope and broke his leg. I thought Grandpa would help him, but he just pulled out his pistol and put it in my hand. He told me, you're doing it for him. Then he pressed my finger on the trigger. I screamed. I wanted my grandfather to die. But years later, I realized what must be done must be done. You leave me no choice, my friend. There's no way. Oh, jeez. There's no way he doesn't see me there, right? I'm six inches away from the vents as he disembowels my friend out there. You know, shit, someone's here. I'm sitting there, like, with a front row view of everything that's going on. I was basically, like, sniffing the air coming out of your nose. I have been closer to the people. <laughs> but no, I've been further away from people than I've been intimate with. That's a lie, actually. But anyway, I'm now running by everyone. My, uh, disgrace- Ah, oh, shit. My disgrace with sex life aside. Let's get out of here. Am I still, like, panicking? Am I still running? Do they know where I am, or am I safe now? Also, I'm not sure how the water's all, like, Damn. glowing and blue and that stuff, hurts. but... I mean, I appreciate the fact I can see you down here. <laughs> Remember the time this was a zombie game? Where's all the zombies? This would be the time when it sends one of those stupid ferals back after me again. It's a cool area though. Oh, it's real ornate. I like it. Oh, it's like the old, old school, like King Louis French stuff. Man, I feel like I'm suddenly, I'm in the bloody Louvre. Hey, real quick, this next bit gets pretty intense. So if you have a thing about like hanging and nooses and stuff, uh, look away now and I'll tell you when it's safe. Who the fuck is this? He doesn't have a biomarker. Oh, what? Uh, fucking turning! Kill him! Quick! No! Hang him! Watch the fucker die! Wait, 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 wait. Get him, damn it! <laughs> Okay, safe now. Here come. He's about to turn. This problem. Thought it was a but he's an outsider. He must be killed. He's with me. You got that? Didn't I tell you not to go anywhere without me, eh? Didn't I fucking tell you? Fuck are you? They'll tell you about. Shh, shh. Not now. He's moving. Hack on. Kill him, hack on. Kill him before I do it for you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. Breathe. <laughs> Seems he hasn't turned. Seems? Hack on, I don't want that here. You've come back to us. Blink if you understand. Ah. Fuck my head. Oh. 
You were on the verge of turning, but UV light and inhibitors pulled you back. Uh, the bat helped too, of course. You're alive. Let's keep it that way. Sky almost kills us all and you're chatting him up? Girls, relax. They're frightened. You almost destroyed their workshop. We need to move out. Can you walk? But I, I don't understand. Where are we going? To a safe place. I gotta get to the fish eye. The fish eye? Without the biomarker, you won't get near it. What the hell is that? Biomarker. Monitors the disease's progression in the dark. That's your ticket into the city. Without it, stepping out of the light is sort of a lottery. You don't know when you turn. You need a biomarker, and I know where to find one. Come on. He's turning again. Relax. Everything's under control. It'll be fine, hey? You're weak. Take a minute. Drink. Seriously? What next? Maybe we should draw him a bath. Sounds pretty cozy to me, ladies. Uh, maybe next time. Get banned, Hal. She adores me. Why are you helping me? Let's get to know each other and find out. You go first. Where'd you get all those? None of your business. You're careful. Good. You live longer. You a real pilgrim? Or did you steal that badge? I'm a... I'm a I was a pilgrim. An hour to dusk. I'm serious, Hakon. He's not staying the night here. Here. Your weapon and your radio. Not even a pilgrim could get by without that. Come on. Let's go. Alright, so that got pretty intense pretty quickly. Apparently it's an hour till dusk, but I'm hanging out with a couple of biddies in here. And they talked about drawing a bar, so I don't really want to leave too soon before the night has ended properly. But I'm going to have to leave this video here. It's going to be heckin' long, given that there won't be much of that cut out because, like, story stuff that long. So, hope you enjoyed an especially long video uh, out of the blue. But hey, here's what it is. So, this is Dying Light 2, at least our first look at it. Kind of cool. There's a lot of aspects I like. There are some glitches and things that has happened with, like, you know, fresh release. I'm sure they'll get fixed up as time goes on. But I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for coming along on this journey with me and for the longer video as well in a different kind of format than what I usually do. Who knows? Maybe we'll come back and do some more in another episode. But I'll have to come back and explore this Assassin's Creed Far Cry with zombies in another video because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.